Hello everyone, Fuzzfinger here, and I am your host for today, and for hopefully the entirety of this brand new Let's Play series, which I am just beginning as of now. So this is Final Fantasy IV, as if you didn't know that, and I've not covered this game yet in the past, so hopefully we'll get some good episodes out of this one. I'm going for, as usual, a complete walkthrough of the game. Although that does depend on whether you guys actually want to see this, since... Um, I haven't actually had a whole lot of requests for this one previously, but I do want to try and get to all of the Final Fantasy games since they've become a bit of a tradition for my YouTube gaming channel. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this one. If you want to follow along, then by all means you are able to do so. That's the whole point of this series really. Although if you do just want to sit back and relax, then of course you're more than welcome here as well. If you do want to purchase the game, I am playing this on the PC. This is the PC version of Final Fantasy IV, available on Steam. I've actually included a link in the video description of all of these episodes as to where I purchased the game, and it was actually a little bit cheaper than buying it from Steam directly, and then I think you just get it as a, either a Steam gift or a key, and you can input that on your Steam account to activate the game. And if you purchase using the link, in the video description not only do you get it a little bit cheaper but you actually support me as well so I really appreciate you guys when you do things like that but without any further ado let's hit the new game button here and for the PC version there's actually two difficulty modes normal and hard as far as I'm aware hard is the same difficulty that you will be playing on by default if you're playing the uh, DS version of the game but you can also play this with Apple as well if you have iOS. So I'm going to go ahead and select hard. By all means select normal. And all the strategies I teach you will still apply to you anyhow. But if you do want to play on hard, then obviously this walkthrough will still apply. So without any further ado, let's see Final Fantasy IV in action and begin. Captain, we're nearly to the Baron border. So we are. The trouble's him, too. Orders may be orders, but this, this goes too far. Here we are, introduced to Cecil. And we can see that he is leading these Red Wings. We're getting some flashback here as to what's just taken place before the beginning of the game. Lord Captain! We're the Red Wings, the pride of Baron. Must we now be thieves sent to plunder from the weak? Enough. But Lord Captain, the Mycidians offer no resistance, and still we cut them down. Listen to me. We did no more than what our kingdom's peace and prosperity required us to do. The Mycidians knew too much of the crystal and its secrets. His Majesty deemed it so. We are the Red Wings of Baron. It is not our place to question the orders of our king. Lord Captain. Lord Captain! Monsters of the Boar! So we've just accomplished a mission, or at least Cecil's just accomplished a mission, and collected the water crystal. And we're automatically thrust into battle. This is actually fairly simple in terms of battles in this game. As you would expect, it's kind of just an introductory battle. Just hit the attack key a few times and you'll get through it no problems. As always guys, I should say really, if you do enjoy these episodes and want to see more, please do go ahead and like, comment and subscribe. Nowadays when you subscribe, you have to click the bell notification once you've done so. And that will just keep you notified of future videos in this series as and when I release them. So one more attack on this floating guy here should do the trick. There we go. This is basically a port, the PC Steam version of the DS version. Although there have been some improvements and some changes as well. Obviously all the touchscreen elements have been revamped Everyone into right. controller. But all these monsters as of late. Disturbing, is it not? I wonder what it bodes. We've reached the castle, my lord. Well then, prepare for landing, men. 
And it looks like we have reached our first destination here at the start of the game. And we're introduced to Bagin, and he's the captain of the guard. So now that we've arrived here at Baron Castle, we're just going to inform the captain of the guard that we have collected the water crystal. A pretty good mission. Even though we only saw it in flashback, of course. But why did we have to go and get that crystal? Well, that's not yet clear at this moment. Although, based on some of the dialogue we've gone through so far, especially on the airship, it seems our orders were to get it at any cost. So it does seem like a bit of a strange situation that Cecil has found himself in. And I'm guessing he does want to know why we had to go and get that crystal. Crystals, of course, are a staple of the Final Fantasy series. And we've seen that even more recently in Final Fantasy XV, the latest entrant of the franchise. Final Fantasy IV has been heavily revamped from its original release back on the Super Nintendo So as we can see, Cecil has peed the king off a little bit, he's been stripped of his title, and we've been introduced to Cain, or Cain, rather. And we've got our next mission now, which involves the slaying of an Eidolon, another Final Fantasy staple. So for those that haven't played Final Fantasy IV previously, it is actually a popular entry in the series. It's always received critical acclaim, and it's... Uh, been very well received amongst Final Fantasy fans. So we've now got control of Kane for the first time. We can open up the menu if we so wish. I'm just using a PS4 controller and I've set the controls up to pretty much the well, what it is that I'm used to when playing the older Final Fantasy games. So you can go ahead and control with a keyboard or with an Xbox controller or whatever else you may be playing with, that's absolutely fine. So we're going to head south here to start with, 
and this will bring us down to the first floor. And I'm just going to see if we can access a map. Because there is a map in this game. But it might only be available on the DS version. I've not played the PC version yet myself. Quick save, by the way, will let you quit the game and save the game wherever you want. Although it does take you back to the title screen, so you'll have to reload and lose that save file if you want to continue playing. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting menu spam here. That was very peculiar. Oh, there's the map. So we can keep the map open as we move around if we want. So we can see that there's three chests on the map, so we're going to head over to those now. Looks like there's a secret passage here. I wonder what this does. It opens the passage, what a surprise. 480 gil, an ether, and a tent. We're going to head over to the west now, and up the stairs here, and this should take us outside. Well, momentarily outside anyway. And we should get a cutscene by heading down into this section. And we are introduced to Rosa, the White Mage of Baron. So it seems that there's perhaps you know, a little bit of chemistry between these two, or something, anyhow. We're just going to head down south here, and we've just come out of Baron Castle, back outside once more. And if we just open the map, we can see there's a tower up here, so we're going to head towards that. And this should trigger another cutscene. And this is Sid, the airship engineer or fleet master. And this guy knows how to traverse towers very quickly, apparently. So Sid is also a character who is a staple to the Final Fantasy franchise, a different character in each game but usually has something to do with airships. And after that little introduction from Sid, we're free to control Cecil once more, and we're going to head into the actual tower. And there's another character here who's going to be introduced. This is Naming Way. I believe Naming Way was introduced with the DS version of the game, so if for some reason you're playing the original, version then you won't be encountering this little bunny fella so we can actually change the names of our characters at naming way here and you can have a play around with that if you want to
You can also try and change your name, but Naming Way will tell you that he can't do so. And even if you spend like five, ten minutes trying to change your name, you'll just come back to this screen that says, nope, not going to do it. So, he will be able to change our name later on, but right now, that's not going to happen. And we'll just head up these stairs here to the side. And chat to this woman over here. And it looks like we can head up to our bedroom at this point. So this is Cecil's bed chamber. And we'll just approach the bed for another cutscene. Your Majesty, what's become of you? Where is the noble knight, the man who took me in as an orphan and raised me as his own? The strong, just king I once knew. Is a crystal worth all this? Robbing a peaceful people of what's theirs by right. What need could be so great? King's orders or no, there's no forgiving what we've done. Cecil? Won't you tell me what happened? First you're sent off to Mycidia, and now to hunt some beast again so soon? Did something happen in Mycidia? No, it's nothing. Then why won't you look at me? I... in Mycidia we... We stole a crystal from people who had done no wrong. I've worn this darkened armor for so long now. There's no mode of light left in me. Not even in my heart. You're a good man, Cecil. I'm a coward. A coward who cannot even defy orders he knows he ought not follow. Cecil of the Red Wings is many things, but he is no coward. Not the Cecil who I love. The King is sending you to Mist to slay the Eidolon, isn't he? If anything were to happen to you, I couldn't... King will be with me. I'll be fine. It's late. You should get some rest. Be careful. Thank you, Rosa. But I know what I've become. Something else I should mention as well is that the soundtrack in this game was composed by Nobuo Uemetsu. So we should expect, expect a pretty good score as we play through. But now we're going to meet up with Kane once more before proceeding on with our Shall adventure. We then, Cecil? I'll be counting on you, my friend. Then you've nothing to fear.
Anyone that's played Final Fantasy before should be familiar with this theme. And so the Dark Knight Cecil, stripped of his command of the Red Wings, set out for the distant Valley of Mist. Together with Kane, commander of the Dragoons, he would pursue a faceless quarry and a chance for redemption. The advent of the airship had marked the realisation of mankind's most ancient dream, but man is a creature seldom sated, and he was quick to dream anew. With the unparalleled might of the Red Wings, Baron's military soon reigned supreme. Why, then, does its king now seek the crystals? Indeed, so far a mystery to us. And why have fearsome monsters suddenly begun to overrun the once calm land? Lots of questions, no answers at the moment. If the crystals know, they share no answers, only their pure and silent light. And now we've got through the introductory sequence of Final Fantasy IV and we are thrust into the world map. We can open up the map and note that there's a fog of war preventing us from actually seeing anything exciting at the moment which means we need to actually explore it ourselves. We could explore at the moment, but we are going to head straight into the town that we can see just to the side of us. But I'm going to finish things off here for today, guys, so thanks ever so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed this episode. And let me know if you want to see this continue. I know I've got a few Let's Plays going on at the moment, but there's lots, lots to get through, and I do plan on doing so. So thanks again guys for joining me and I'll see you soon for more Final Fantasy 4. Take care, bye for now.